right, good morning. We are live in Otay Mesa. We've been talking about summertime activities this morning, but guess what? Coming up, we are breaking a world record on the largest swim lesson ever. We'll tell you about it coming up on the Fox 5 Morning News. Heather Ford, she is poolside this morning. Poolside? I want to be there. She's live in the South Bay for a very special event. What are you doing, Heather? Ooh, that looks like it would feel Ooh. so good. We're getting ready to swim, but I forgot one thing. I forgot my bikini today. It is so nice outside. I can tell you what, people, if you got a chance, get outside, enjoy the sunshine. I know Chrissy's saying 70 and sunny, but it's got to get a little warmer because it is absolutely gorgeous out here. We've got the kids in the pool because YMCA's today between 7 and 9 a.m. Um, around the world are joining in to create a world record for the world's largest swim lesson. I have Blase with me, the aquatics director. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are hey, you? This is a good day. We're out here poolside having some fun, but you guys are trying to break a world record. How do you do something like this? Well, the YMCA and the world's largest swim lesson together and all the other swim providers are trying to organize the world's largest swim lesson. We're trying to break a record of 25,000 kids and over. Uh, there are 15 countries and five continents uh, organizing this event, and it's more of a drowning prevention uh, to bring awareness within the community that once you learn how to swim, it stays with you forever. Yeah, and uh, right now behind us, as you can see, we've got some really little ones in the pool this morning. Is there a certain age that you recommend people start the kids out at? Well, we really recommend uh, to start as early as possible, but the YMCA starts at six months and goes all the way to 99 year old, years, years old. Yeah. Um, with the swim lesson today, do you know how long it takes? If someone still wants to come before 9 a.m., can they sign up and get their kid? Is it a half-hour swim lesson, an hour? It depends on the age, but they do usually go from 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And uh, it's never late to sign up for swim lessons. We always have room and spots for everybody. And there's YMCA's all around San Diego County. We're putting the link up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. If you've got a pool or if you're near water, which a lot of us are in San Diego, make sure the kids are comfortable in the water. We're going to do that. And to talk about swimming prevention, we have our friends from the Chula Vista Fire Department. Barrett's with us. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, so let's talk about this because I don't think a lot of people understand how important it is and how much water we have in San Diego to have the kids um, trained in swim lessons or at least have them comfortable with the water. Is that right? That's correct. And then uh, an important fact is that 88% of... Um, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> There's no statistics. They're really hard. Um, I think it's 88% of uh, prevention can actually happen like if you just get your kid in that formal swim lesson. Right. So that's going to be the most important thing lesson. to do out here. Cut down by 88%. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of the leading causes of death in children um, four years, one to four years. So this is a really big deal. I got to tell you, Sholly, um, I know both of you and, and Raul and Chrissy, all of you have little ones. And I've heard that you can get them in the pool as, as early as three months. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Our kid was in the pool at four three or five months. Three months old. Yeah. We love the water. You take him dip, dip in their little toes. Dip no, they, they have it's the so cute. I got to get, hey, and are you guys calling a cannonball? Heather, you <laughs> no. say that, but no. I was not joking. I was saying the same thing while you were doing your little interview. I said I would pay like ten bucks. See Heather just jump right in the pool. Whoa! <laughs> I got you. Heather, ten bucks. Yeah. Ten ball. Ten bucks. Do it. You can do it. Day over. <laughs> ten you can bucks. Do it. Oh, okay. she needs okay. more than that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. By the way, shout out to the lifeguard. Was it the firefighter or the lifeguard who said a statistic of rah? Firefighter. Rah, rah. Hey, what was that? Give Barrett. Give Come here. Good try. Give him a hard time. You know? Hey, it's live TV is not easy. Give him a hard no, time. What was that easy. statistic again? Stop it. We do that all the time <laughs> no. here. That's my, that's my man friends. right there. That's my man right there. You got to, you know, you got to give him a hard time. They're going to give him a hard time at the house now when he gets back to the firehouse. You know they are. <laughs> He's going to have to cook meals for like a year now. No. Because he went on live TV and went, rawr. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. 